So guys, <laughs> I'm going to paint my little fat ass. Um, but first I'm going to do a little bit of an experiment to try and see how I'm going to do this main. I've just got a bit of, obviously a bit of scrap wood here. And um, I'm going to drill some holes in it and plug it in and put some paint on this jute and see how that works out and uh, before I start doing anything on the donkey itself well, I think he's, he's doing just putting some like plugs in you know and then unravelling it I mean tail that could be the tail if you know what I mean but I'll try this I'm um, sorry about all the clutter this is my workshop I'm, I'm in the workshop and rather the man cave due to the fact that it's harder to film in man cave there's less space on that desk than there is on this work table um, I, I just printed a few reference pictures out reference pictures out for for stripes and just to give me a general idea to look at and uh, if Henry Ford had made donkeys he would have said you can have any colour you want as long as it's grey and black <laughs> because that's what this one's going to be but first what do I need a little bit of glue it's always good if I can get the nail out the top I won't make you suffer all this I will obviously cut out what I can cut out and speed up what I can speed up I need some glue and I'm just going to put a little row can you see that? That's a uh, two and a half mil. Just give myself an idea there. Try and keep them straight. So I have got a smaller drill bit. I have got a bigger drill bit. See how this drill bit goes. Scissors. So these scissors work. Put my nail back in. Let's see how this works out. <laughs> I don't think that'll look too bad actually. I think that'll work out alright. I didn't want to just start drilling holes into it. I will need a little assistance with drying. So. I'll take one. That's the other good thing about the shed. Good painting. I can uh, use the hot air gun as well. I do, I think I've got it. <sighs> and donkeys, well, looking at the pictures, I've been looking at the donkeys' uh, mane and Hair is quite spiky, spiky. Just get a little black and dip that on that. A little bit of water, just to make it run. I 
I think that's quite donkey-esque. Yeah, works for me. Good. And painting. Experimental donkey hair complete. Stage one. So I'm basically I've just um, <laughs> this ass has got a screw in his ass. It just allows me to levitate him and get round. Uh, make pictures. They've got white underbellies, white insides of the legs, or light, lighter, yeah. And I'll get so I'll try and get some paint in there first, and before I do anything else. So. So the hot air gun works a treat. And I'm going back in with white iron on underbelly. I'm just going to mark a little bit of a line down just to give me a guide and because he's sat obviously on one side his tail's going to come out on this side so I want to find that sort of position where I can drill the hole what I will do first though I'll paint his black stripe in then do drilling Repaint the uh, the jute after. I don't know whether you can see that. I've just put some little reference lines on to see how it works out. I don't, the stripes come in front of them. They come halfway through with the legs, really. So I'm probably a little bit far back there. I hope we can get that pencil off. <laughs> Paint it out. These paints are acrylics, by the way, if anybody's wondering. <laughs> so, back again. <laughs> Memory card said no. Um, keep doing black bits. And donkeys have got black. black ears round here and black tips and from what I've seen it looks like they have a little bit of a, a black rim around here so I'm going to attempt to insert this jute now before I do any more painting um, fingers crossed, eh? How much can you see? Not a great deal. Gotta get one between his ears. Like 
much easier. Bread all. If anybody's looking for an air transplant, give me a call. If you don't mind me using old school tools. Yeah, missed that bit, didn't you? <coughs> I just put some little white splotches on where his eyes are going to be. Uh, I've got to uh, just dry them off now. So, let's attempt the eyes. So, did a bit more on it. it. It's hard to do it in front of the camera. So, I just switched camera off and all I'm doing now is putting some bits of washers on. Which is basically really watered down stuff just to put highlights on stuff like bits like this yeah you see what I'm doing here there are highlights it will need low lights see what I mean just picking up these parts across his shoulder and I'm just doing it in very quick Brown for the eyes. Right then. I'm going to do the brown on his eyes. What I'm going to use is back at brush and just blob it. So and so. And hopefully that'll get me a good definition of an eyeball. Quite small one first. I'll do it and show you, otherwise it's easier. It sort of works. And then I've still got to put a white highlight on them anyway. Could have gone probably bigger with eyes, make it more cartoony baby donkey sort of looking but we'll see so guys I think I'm about done and the little highlights are a bit big but hey that's what it looks like I'll get some photos and some stills so I can put them in a bit of a slideshow on it so that they look better a better look at it I think that's going to be quite well. There's over an hour's worth of footage now, an hour and a half, so I'll cut in and out what I can. Obviously, you'll know that <laughs> because this is at the end.